This video will show you how to get started with FS Pro 2020 in just 10 minutes time. It will show you all the most important features of FS Pro 2020, but also give you some tips and tricks on how to start writing a nicely structured document. Also, you will be able to see how you can publish an FS Pro 2020 document to the FS Pro cloud. Now, the first thing that you need to do is open MS Word and start a new document. And as you can see, I can find myself within the home tab of MS Word. Now, if you correctly installed FS Pro 2020, you will find the FS Pro 2020 tab over here. When you select that tab, you will find yourself within the FS Pro 2020 tab and see the FS Pro ribbon with all its functionalities. Now, a lot of things over here are grayed out and that's because FS Pro is not yet attached to your document. And the only thing that you need to do is select map and FS Pro will automatically be attached to your document. Now, as you can see, all the features within the FS Pro ribbon are now enabled. And automatically, I have also inserted my first map and my first block. Now, maps and blocks are the two main information units of FS Pro 2020. Now, if you want to start writing your document, you first need to insert your map title. And this is going to be performing the three C's as I'm going to write a document about basic first aid treatment. When I move on to the block, to my first block, you will see that it exists out of two different elements. This is the block label and this is the block text. And the block label tells something more about the block itself. So I'm going to label this check the surroundings and now that I've labeled my block I'm going to insert my block text about check the surroundings now that you're ready with your first block you can easily insert a second block by selecting the block icon in your FS Pro ribbon and this way you insert a new block and you just continue writing. Or there's also a possibility to insert reusable blocks. And reusable blocks are basically blocks that you saved before and can reuse in different documents. So I prepared some reusable blocks in advance. And if I want to insert a reusable block, I go to block, reusable blocks. And here I see the two blocks that I've saved. And I will first insert call for help. And as you can see, I inserted a new block call for help in my document. I can also insert a new reusable block. This is going to be care for the person. And as you can see, I have inserted a second block. Now, you can see that my block that I had just inserted is split on two pages. Now it's important to know that you have to have a map title on every page. So this is my map title performing the three C's and it should be on the second page as well as this is still my map performing the three C's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my cursor in between the block call for help and care for the person. And I'm going to select the continue option in the FS Pro ribbon. And the continue option will continue this map on the next page. So if I select continue page, you will see that my first two blocks are over here. And I continued the third block, continued on next page, on the next page. So you can see the map title with continued on the next page. And you can see my next block, care for the person on this page as well. It's important to know that you always have to have a map title or a continued map title on every page. So that's how you can easily insert your reusable blocks. Same goes for reusable maps. You can also insert reusable maps. And to do that, you simply have to go to map, reusable maps, and here you have my reusable map, caring for an unconscious person. So as you can see, I have inserted my reusable map, which is just uh, like any other map, it contains blocks, tables, 
This continues on the next page, so you can see my map title with continued behind it. And it's even continued on the page afterwards. So again, map title and continued. And it's very easy to create and insert reusable blocks and also maps. Now, if you want to know more about reusable maps and blocks and how to create them, but also save them on a document management system or on your desktop or on how to exchange them in between colleagues, you should check out our uh, tutorial videos about reusable maps and blocks. Now, you probably noticed that on the left hand side, you can find this outline pane. Now, the outline pane is basically an advanced organizer. It, sh so it shows you the structure of your document. So you can see my first map performing the three C's with the three blocks in it. And also the second map caring for an unconscious person with all the blocks in it. So, so it shows you the structure. And it's also a validation tool. For example, when you make errors against FS Pro, the outline pane will tell you what you're doing wrong. And currently I have zero out of zero errors. That's basically the most important functionality of the outline pane. One of the most important things within FS Pro 2020 and also information mapping are the information types. And you have six different information types and you can find them over here in the FS Pro ribbon. You have a principle, a process, a procedure, a concept, a structure, and a fact. And directly underneath every information type, you can find some functionalities that have to do with these information types. For example, directly underneath process, you can insert a process map or block, but also a stage description table or a then table. Now, let's say that I want to insert, over here, I want to insert a procedure table. And I want that procedure table to be a step action table. Then I put my cursor where I want to insert my table. I go to procedure, step action table, and I select step action table. And as you can see, I have now inserted my step action table. Now the only thing that I need to do is insert my steps and my text, which is what I'm going to do right now. Now that I've completed my table, you can also check the outline pane and see that underneath, if unresponsive, prepare for CPR, so this block, you can see table. So this is the table that I've just inserted and created. And in front of the table, you can see this arrow icon. This is the icon of procedure. And the outline pane shows you in this way how many procedures that you have in your document. For example, underneath check for breathing, you can also see a table with an arrow uh, next to it, which is also a procedure. So the outline pane shows you how many information tabs you're using and what kind of type it is. And you can, in this way, directly insert blocks and maps and tables directly underneath the information types by selecting a drop down option. Or you can also assign an information type to an element in your outline pane. For example, if you want caring for an unconscious person to be a process, you can right click and select process. And next to caring for an unconscious person, you will see the process icon. Once you're done in writing your document and you feel comfortable about the content and the structure, you're able to publish your document as an online publication. And to do that, you will need to go to publish within the FS Pro 2020 ribbon, select publish to cloud and insert your publication name. This is going to be first eight. I will select the template, the website template. I'm not going to protect my publication with a password and I will select publish. And now my document is being published to the FS Pro cloud. I select go to the publication. And this is my publication. Now on the left hand side, you can see my maps. So my map titles. And on the right hand side, you can see the corresponding blocks. So if I select one of these maps, you can see the blocks changing on the right hand side. If I select a map and I go to a block and I select the first block, check the surroundings, for example, I can see the content of that block and I can easily move on to the next block and the next block, switch to another map, click on a new block, easily browse, check the tables, 
And there's also a possibility to insert YouTube videos. For example, over here, this is a working YouTube video. And you can easily insert YouTube videos by copy pasting YouTube links in an FS Pro document. And once you publish that document as an online publication, the YouTube link will be transformed into a working YouTube video. If you want to know more about the publication feature, but also on how to customize your publications, or if you just want to know how to use all the functions of FS Pro 2020, then I would recommend that you go to our FS Pro 2020 tutorial that you can find on our YouTube channel, or you can go to FS Pro 2020 tutorial within our FS Pro ribbon. In that way, we provide you with 40 plus YouTube videos that will show you exactly what to do.